Hey, good evening. It's Tuesday, April 13th. Really good to be with you. I had a chance to be outside tonight. You can see the sunset behind me. And it's really a fitting theme for what I want to talk about tonight, because I want to talk about the purity of heart. I mentioned that in this morning's video. And those who are pure of heart, they will see God. How do I get a pure heart? I don't manufacture it within me. It's something that God gives to me. And God gives us two ways. One is to understand how we, how we can come to know with Him. One of the ways He gives us is exactly what you see behind me right now. This phenomenal, glorious sunset, which gives testimony to God. And we know there's a God because of this beautiful sunset. But the missing part of the story is we know who God is and how He works with us by what's in His Word. So we have this really phenomenal opportunity where we see the general revelation of God in the sunset, but then we can reference the specific revelation of God where He comes to us and He warms us and calls us to Himself by the work of His Spirit. So this specific revelation of God, this targeted revelation of God, is what calls us to him, but what makes the heart, helps me understand my heart. See, the heart is something that's a kind of a challenging thing to figure out. And people will give you all kinds of definitions for it. Let me give you one that I think will strike home to you and help you understand your heart. Your heart is what you see when you look in the mirror. It's both terrifying and beautiful. It draws us in and makes us run away. And that's the challenge that we have. And to be pure in heart means that I have understood what I need from Christ and I have cried out to Him and His righteousness and His purity, His genuineness is what makes my heart pure. That's the only reason I can trust my heart, because of the beauty and wonder of Christ. So this night, this time, we don't earn our purity. We don't earn our standing with God. But what we do earn, what we do have a beautiful opportunity to embrace is to realize that Jesus has earned this for me. He has secured this inheritance for me as if I earned it. And so when you see this beauty behind me, and you see this glorious sunset that God has provided for us to be able to talk about tonight, this is the same way. I didn't, I didn't do this. I didn't choreograph this. I didn't sketch this. I didn't plan it. God made this happen for us. That's the same way that I'm dependent upon the grace of God. Just as I had nothing to do with this beautiful sunset, I have nothing to do with the beautiful grace of God that is poured out to me. It makes my heart pure. There's so much comfort in that. I don't, I don't have to earn it. You see, the earning part is done by Jesus. So yes, I do have a part in earning it, but not because of me, but because of Christ. So I can rejoice in the beauty of the sunset, knowing my God did that to me. That brings joy and peace and comfort. This night for you, your purity of heart is tied to the wonder and beauty of Christ. This night, if you're sick, if you're struggling with cancer, if you're struggling with your sin, if you're just struggling with the darkness of this world, the hope that is ours is given to us by God. And the gloriousness of this sunset and the glorious way that He makes us whole with Him. My purity is not something that I work in for myself. It's something that comes to me through the person of Jesus Christ. It gives me wholeness. It gives me comfort. It gives me security. Just as much security as the beauty that comes from the sunset. It gives me the security of knowing that I am secure with God. And this night, I can rest knowing that He is my God. I have faith in Him. So the purity of heart, this inner person that we see, God sees better than you and I will ever see. And we are embraced in Christ. Not because of who we are, but because of who Jesus is. My friends, take comfort in that this night. Rest in, in it.
let the sun set and let the glory of the word of God who says he is your shepherd, he who is walking through you with these dark valleys, let that be your comfort as well. Again, thank you for being here tonight. Let the purity of God that comes from Christ rest deeply in your heart this night. Thank you for being here. Hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on. Again, I love the feedback that I'm getting from you, so please continue doing that. And Lord willing, we'll see you in the morning. You have a great evening. Bye-bye.